Hey guys, it's Khalif from Fat Guy Skinny Wallet, and I'm here um, to just ask a question. It may or may not be brief, you know how I do in the car, but um, I just really want to know what motivates you guys more. And there's two different ways, I guess, that you can look to get motivation in whatever you're doing. The two things I think about more are, um, of course, with discipline, but with personal finance and with uh, trying to uh, lose weight or just be healthier. Um, does it motivate you more to look behind you and see all that you've accomplished and, and you know, get pushed forward from that? Or does it motivate you more to look forward at the goals that you have in front of you and just push yourself to, to keep hitting those? So, just about everyone who tries to lose weight, um, when someone get stuck, you know, if you go a few weeks and you hit some, some plateau or you feel like you're struggling even with discipline or something, then most people say, well, look at how far you've come. You've probably forgotten, you know, how much you've done and, you know, things like that. Um, you know, just look back. You've already lost 50 pounds, already lost 100 pounds, already lost 150, whatever it is. You know, you've already broken your addiction to X. You've already stopped doing this. You started doing this. Things, you know, just look at how far you've come on this journey and that should you know get you out of your doldrum so to speak um, with me that doesn't work or well I'll say this it only works if my if I'm if my struggles stem from me thinking that I can't do something then it pays for me to look back and say you know what well I was able to go from here to here I was able to go from not being able to run from my steps to my uh, to the trash bin at the complex to being able to run seven miles. You know, I was able to yeah run from, from go from running 15 seconds to now running over an hour and a half. I was you know able to go from someone who you know couldn't even uh, didn't even own any weights. To someone now who is extremely interested in weightlifting and even powerlifting, you know, I just went from someone who couldn't work out at all to, um, to someone who can do cardio for over an hour. You know, just looking at those things, and and then looking at the changes in my diet. That's great. If I have something in front of me that I say I won't be able to accomplish this, it's too hard. Look at where I am now. There's no way I can get to that point. Yeah, then it pays to look back. But I rarely have times like that. If somebody challenges me and says you can't do something. That just pushes me to do it because I want to prove them wrong. So, for me, looking back really doesn't work. What looking back does, and not just for me, but I found for most people on YouTube, especially those who advocate looking back, is it causes, it can cause you to get stuck. And what I mean is that it can cause you to, to justify your lack of movement now because you've done all this movement and progress in the past. So, for instance, you can say, well, I lost 100 pounds over the last year and a half, which is tremendous. It's wonderful. But then another six months go by and you're stagnant. But what can you say? I lost 100 pounds over the last two years. That sounds great, right? But within that time, we don't, we don't even see that, oh, well, you lost 100 pounds in 18 months and you lost zero pounds in the last six months. So let's, let's worry about the last six months and fix what's going on the last six months. Or don't keep glorying in what you've done in the past. Don't keep living in the past and say, hey, I lost 100 pounds. Well, we're talking about today. Pretend like today is day one and start forward. And that's what I think most people need to do. I think we look back way too much. But, you know, I mean, that could be me. I mean, I'm looking at myself, but I'm also looking at a lot of other people. Um, I remember when I lost 30 pounds, and that's that's nothing for a lot of people. But you know, I lost 30 pounds, and it was the most that I ever lost in my life. You know, with all these times I said I'm going to lose weight, it's real this time. And I lost 30 pounds, and I sat back and was like, "Wow, I lost 30 pounds, and I don't know how much time." And then like another few weeks went by, then it was a month, and it was a month and a half, and maybe two months. Well, I only lost one or two pounds after that. And I looked and said, "Wow." You know, I need to stop looking at my progress as I've lost 30 pounds in X months. 
I need to look at my progress as over the last month or the last two months, I've done nothing. And I need to figure out why I haven't moved and correct that. Not keep pacifying myself by the fact that I did good one time in the past. So for me, that doesn't work. Looking in the past, I need to look in the future. I need to set goals. But my goals can't be so far in the future that they have no effect on today because I tell myself I can start hitting them tomorrow. So I need a balance. But, you know, so, so I need short-term goals for me. Some people, you know, don't, some people need different things. But I found that just about everyone that I've looked at on a weight loss journey who struggles, especially those who make videos on YouTube or blog, um, get into trouble when they start to look and say, I've lost X amount of pounds from day one. You know, like I said, you'll sit and say that, and that, in that same example, you can go to two and a half years and say, I lost 100 pounds over two and a half years. And that's, that's a great number. If anyone tells me I lost 100 pounds in two and a half years, I'm thinking, wow, that's great. But if you tell me I lost 100 pounds in the first 18 months, and then in the next year I lost zero, then it's like, okay, whoa, what happened in that, in that other year where you didn't lose anything? Let's focus on that. Yeah, it's great what you did before in the first 18 months. And if what you did then isn't working now, for whatever reason, change it up. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over and then hit that, um, you know, hit that mark and say two and a half years, I still lost 100 pounds. You know, because then you're going to end up three, four years and say I lost 80 pounds. You know, um, so I just think, you know, for me, and honestly, it's not just for me. It's for just about everybody else I've seen who stalls on YouTube after a great period of, of losing weight. And then there's a they hit a wall, and usually all the talk in every video or every blog post becomes, this is what I've done since day one, and I'm proud of that. And you should be proud of that, but there's a point where we have to cut that off, and today has to be a new day one, and we have to start moving forward from today. So, how do you guys look at it? Those of you who do like to look at from the original day one, how far you've gone till today, um... Does it really motivate you? Does it really push you? Or does it just... Man, look... I mean, be honest. Really look at yourself. Or does it kind of give you an excuse to slack off? Or give you an excuse to not make a lot of progress? I'm not saying you're purposely stunting your progress. But I'm just saying that when you look at the fact that you haven't made progress, are you really examining that and seeing what's wrong and trying to fix it? Or are you falling back on the crutch of, but I've lost X amount of pounds since I started? Yeah, but that start is over. This is a new period. So look at, just really look at yourself and decide that. And let me know because, as you know, I'm dealing with some stuff that some of it may be uh, physical things that's going on that's, you know, causing me to really struggle for motivation and struggle for a drive. But, um, you know, I tell you now, looking back really doesn't work for me. And I need to look forward to goals and I really need to uh, look forward to to smaller goals that I set for myself and really challenges are best for me because a challenge really says to me you can't do something and then I have to prove you wrong so that's really the biggest thing uh, for me I just don't have the time to organize a challenge right now so um, you know that's that's pretty much it I just really want to know what your opinion is and I want to know those of you who do use that whole I'm gonna look back on my journey um, how do you guys avoid using your prior progress as a crutch or as something to kind of soothe or pacify you when you see that you're struggling? How do you prevent looking back from becoming something that stops you from moving forward? Because you're constantly living in the past and you're constantly satisfied with what you've already done and you're not even motivated to do anymore because you've, even if you don't do anything more from today, you can always have a great number to say that you've lost and you always can say you made great progress no matter what you're doing today. So how do you stop yourself? Or do you? You know, if you really look inten intensely at yourself, are you stopping yourself from doing that or are you falling into that trap? And for those of you who only look forward and don't even look back, um... How do you set smaller goals? What do you do to set smaller goals um, so that the, your ultimate goal doesn't become so far away that, it, that you seem almost detached from it? 
yeah, so let me know. And this fat guy, Skinny Wallet, uh, Khalif, signing off. Hope you guys have a great day. Driving to work in the rain now. And uh, just remember, it doesn't get easier. You just get stronger.